Okay. Today I'm going to use my jumbo dulcimer to play you a song from Ireland called Kilkelly Ireland. It's a song about um, that was written, I think, based on letters that went between a son and his father between Kilkelly, Ireland and England, where the son had moved to uh, over the course of 32 years. And the son never went back to Ireland, but they did share some letters, and that's what the song is about. <laughs> My dear loving son John, you're good from the school master Pat McNamara's, so good as to write these words now. Your brothers have all gone to fine work in England, the house is so empty and sad. The crop of potatoes is sorely infected, a third to a half of them bad. And your sister Bridget and Patrick O'Donnell are going to be married in June. Your mother says not to work on the railroad, be sure to come on home soon. Loving son John, hello to your missus and to your four children. May they grow healthy and strong. Michael has gotten a wee bit of trouble. I guess that he never will learn. Because of the darkness, there's no turf to speak of, and now there's nothing to burn. And Bridget is happy. Child for her, you know she's got six of her own. They say you found work, but you don't say what kind. Oh, when will you be coming home? Kill Kelly, Ireland, eighteen and eighty. Dear Michael and John, my sons. I'm sorry to give you the very sad news that your dear old mother passed on. We buried her down at the church in Kilkelly. Your brothers and Bridget were there. You don't have to worry, she died very quickly. Remember her in your prayers. And it's so good to hear that Michael's returning. With money sure to buy land Well the crop has been poor And the people are selling At any price that they can Kill Kelly, Ireland, 18 and 90 My dear loving son John Guess that I must be close on to 80 It's three years since you've gone Because of all of the money you've sent me I'm still living out on my own Michael has built himself a fine house And Bridget's daughters are grown And thank you for sending your family picture they lovely young women and men You say that you might even come for a visit What a joy to see you again Kill Kelly, Ireland, 18 and 92 My dear brother John I'm sorry that I didn't write a bit sooner to tell you that father passed on. He was living with Bridget, she says he was cheerful and healthy right down to the end. You should have seen him playing with the grandchildren, Pat McNamara, your friend. And we buried him down along 
slide a mother at the Kilkelly churchyard. He was a strong and a feisty old man, considering his life was so hard. And it's funny the way he kept talking about you. He called for you at the end. Oh, why don't you think about coming for a visit? He'd love to see you again.